Welcome back to this channel with practice problems for actuarial exams. My name is Krzysztof Staszewski. You can find information about me at smarturl.it forward slash Jedi. I have some resources here where uh, I provide information helping in and, and resources as well, providing, giving you my uh, advice and my study um, notes, study manuals, and, and so on, and online examiners uh, to prepare you for um, professional actuarial exams. I direct the actuarial program at Illinois State University. The website of the program can be found at smarturl.it forward slash actuary. And if you'd like to make a tax-deductible donation to uh, support our actuarial students at Illinois State University, you can go to smarturl.it forward slash help ISU actuary. Here's the problem for today. A perpetuity immediate pays 100 per year. Immediately after the fifth payment, the perpetuity is exchanged for a 25-year annuity immediate that pays X at the end of the first year. Each subsequent annual payment will be 8% greater than the preceding payment. Immediately after the 10th payment of the 25-year annuity, the annuity will be exchanged for a perpetuity immediate paying Y per year. The annual effective rate of interest is 8%. Calculate Y. Well, since the interest rate is 8%, annual effective rate, and we had a perpetuity immediate paying 100 at the end of each year, the value of such a perpetuity is 100 over 0 0.08. A unit perpetuity immediate is worth 1 over i, where i is the annual effective interest rate, um, if the perpetuity makes payments every year. So if it's an annual perpetuity, which is standard. But since this one is not 1 but 100, the value is 100 over the interest rate, so 100 over i, and i is 0.08. So that's 1250. 100 divided by 0.08 is 1250. The value of the 25-year annuity immediate it is exchanged for is 1250 because it's exchanged for it, but also we can write it out as the present value of its payments, and the payments are x in a year, so discounted by 8%, that's x over 1.08, Next payment is x times 1.08, and it's discounted from the end of the second year, so it's divided by 1.08 squared. Next one is x times 1.08, and discounted from the end of third year, so divided by 1.08 cubed, and so on, until the last payment, the 25th one, is x times 1.08 to the 24th, and discounted over 25 years, so divided by 1.08 to the 25th. Now, you, as you see, those powers of 1.08 cancel out in such a way that every single one of those terms that we have in the sum is actually x over 1.08, and there is 25 of them. So this sum is equal to 25x divided by 1.08. And that's equal to 1250. So that x is equal to 1.08 times 1250 over 25, and that's... 54. Then when the second exchange happens, there are only 15 payments remaining of the 25-year annuity, and nine increases of its payments have already happened. And the first payment to be made is the 11th payment of the original schedule, and that payment corresponds to the 10th increase in the payment, so that the equation of value established at the time of second exchange, so time 10, is that the perpetuity of y, perpetuity immediate, has a value of y divided by 0.08, but it must be equal to the present value of the remaining payments of the annuity, which are 54 times 1.08 to the 10th divided by 1.08, because the payment is made at the end of the first year into the future from time 10, 
the next payment is 54 times 1.08 to the 11th and this counted back two years so divided by 1.08 squared and so on until the last payment is 54 times 1.08 to the 24th divided by 1.08 to the 15th and again we cancel the powers of 1.08 and every single term that we have here in this sum is equal to 54 times 1.08 to the 9th and there is 15 of them, so this is equal to 54 times 1.08 to the 9th times 15. Well, therefore, y has to be equal to 0.08 times 54 times 1.08 to the 9th times 15, and that's approximately 129.5355, and that's answer C. Please remember, this is copyrighted material. Well, the problem originates from the Society of Actuaries and belongs to the Society of Actuaries. Um, but the solution is mine. Good luck in your studies and good luck on the test.